away from the 2016 Olympics in Rio and for the first time we're getting an inside look at how Olympic athletes are training right here in Colorado Springs. New at 4 o'clock, Cardio News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi shows us how Team USA is preparing. Hundreds of U.S. athletes call Colorado Springs home while they train for the Olympics. For two-time Olympian Desiree Linden, the high altitude helps her. There's a change in the barometric pressure. The higher up the mountain you go, the lower the barometric pressure there is. This room is set to the same sea level as Rio, the home of the 2016 Olympics. And for an athlete like Desi or any of our Olympic athletes, if they're not able to run, swim, bike, row as fast as they could at sea level, their training is actually going backwards. Their nutrition is also training them for Rio. And these are some of the foods that our athletes will be enjoying in Rio. And one of the reasons why we do this is to ensure consistency in their diet. Olympic wrestler Elena Perishkova has a nutrition plan based on her body, but protein and carbs play a big role. This one of a kind training facility brings in athletes from all over the world to train, not just physically, but also mentally. Three, two, one, stop. And these Olympic boxers use sensors on their wrists to train. The technology they use is one of a kind and only here in the U.S. They will tell us the number of punches that they're throwing, the speed at which the punches are being thrown, and also a calculation of intensity. It's a variety of training that's getting these athletes ready for Rio. In Colorado Springs, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13. Rigorous training, that's for sure. The Olympics will be held in August.